Good day everyone, welcome to Cartocraft episode 2 on the Cartocraft server. I'm Cartosel, and today I'll be working on my base a lot. This is the nether tunnel I dug in the first episode. Actually, I still need to make it fancy and stuff. Other people on the server have already started doing that, but I haven't. I did, however, put in the stairs, because, well, every time I had to run up them, I would lose uh, at least two hunches of hunger just from getting up to the right level. And this is new as well. Uh, I went to visit one of the other guys on the server and they had another fortress located very close to the road. So I went in and took some nether ward. Because, you know, I want speed potions to be able to get to the hub in a significantly reduced amount of time. Last time I had steak in here. Now I have bread. So I... Yeah, I ran out of steak, so I had to make this emergency form. Also... Yeah, I have done some digging. This... Is the... Layout for the hub. It will be this big. Only... I still need to go way up. And I need to change... The floor, and the walls, and everything actually. But at least now I have an idea of how it is going to look. And I just go. Yeah, I found slimes. Actually, I found way too many slimes. So I'm actually <laughs> almost handing them out for free now. Because a lot of people don't have slimes. Yeah. Well, I told Asboy, you know, if you want slimes, you take the effort of walking all the way to my base. Then you can just have him, but he's giving something in return. <gasps> Who? I like bread. I like lily pads, but arrows. Man, arrows. I had no arrows, and I have no way of getting arrows. So I'm really happy with those arrows. And, whoa, blocks of iron. And iron bars. Uh, probably not gonna use stone slabs, but. Um. Yeah. The rest, absolutely glorious. Yeah, I encounter way too much gravel. Uh, I don't know where to put the slabs. No, I'll just put them in here. Along with the iron bars. No, I put the iron bars over here. It's very organized, I just keep losing everything. And... Yeah, and Inferno is the one who's giving me records all the time. And yeah, he actually gave me two. It's the first time I ever built a jukebox was on this server. Which is odd, I suppose. And I keep losing track of everything. Which is really weird. Man, another ward. Oh yes. So yes, I have a brewing stand. Of course. Um yeah. So, I'll just... I think I'll rendezvous. Up! Uh, yes! My base intersects a couple of slime chunks, which is really annoying, actually. Because I don't want them here. No! Because I made a slime farm to get slimes, and then they all just suddenly started spawning in my base. I was pissed. But, oh uh, well, free experience, free balls, and... Oh! Well, I'm going to meet with um, Hellboy and be back in a second. Right, and I'm back. And I have five music discs. I'm going to test these out. They all got them from Hell Inferno. So, if he is actually somehow looking at this, then I think you do. Really, really thank you. However, I did use a considerable amount of speed potions, so I'll have to make a couple more. Which isn't really a big deal. Oh yeah, shift clicking doesn't work yet. Uh, 
much sugar. They're, they're really the most easy potions to make, so... I'm not concerned about that in any way. Time to farm. Because I'm almost out of bread, which is bad. Well, um, about the base, what I'm going to do with it, this hub specifically, I've got the largest part figured out. It's just a tremendous amount of work. But, the walls will be uh, logs and leaves mainly. The floor, however, I'm not entirely sure. I had this idea of a pattern of stone bricks and grass, but now that I know that slimes are spawning here, I have to make it spawn proof. That means I'm probably going to do some pattern thingy with leaves and stairs and a lot of half slabs. So yeah, I have gathered some resources to get ready for building. Uh, you may have seen these wooden blocks. Now what I'm going to do with these is these are going to be huge pillars. I mean they're going to be really tall. They aren't now, but I'll just put them up to get a feel or something. Because I just like putting them. There we go. Um, actually, we can go quite high here. I mean, it's going to get way higher than that, so it's probably going to reach all the way to the surface. Which is quite a distance off, considering him at Y30 uh, or 31, something like that. So yeah. And there will be four of those, right around the portal. And they will be supporting... Well, of course, just visually supporting, because you don't need any support in Minecraft. Unless you use dirt or gravel, uh, sand or gravel. And I hate gravel. With a vengeance. Stuff always drops in. But they will be supporting a spiraling stair. That goes all the way around to the surface. I will be making the stairs out of uh, leaves and half slabs. Not actual stairs. Because, well I think they're boring actually. I'd rather use half slabs to go up instead of stairs because well, it looks better in my opinion and you can sprint up them so we have these four pillars in the center and also here in this circuit thing from the center there is this you rather big circle actually of this diameter and there are pillars all along the circle. I brought too little logs. Uh, too few, not too little. My English isn't always that good. So I'll just put up the rest of all those pillars so I can get a actual feel of this base. Alright, so I put all the pillars up and I like it. Of course it will look a lot better when there's more green instead of gravel and stone and coal and dirt and a lot of stuff. So yeah, you will have a kind of view like this. That was really poor English. So. The next thing I'm going to do, start with the first project. I'll leave the decoration of the hub for a later time. Uh, what I'm going to do now is actually start on a better wheat farm. A bit more automated and stuff. Actually, automated instead of this. Which is functional, but that's all. A lot of people already started and actually finished their wheat farms and uh, probably one of the last considering uh, the time when I started <coughs> well, uh, he's not online now but Chewy 
he's already done a massive amount of work in space and it looks really nice and now I have this with the pillars it's starting to look nice but it's still nearly nothing so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a mobile workbench yeah, those achievements keep resetting, it's annoying. Um, oh. Well, that's dumb. Yeah, I raided some glowstone stacks uh, near my <laughs> nether road, actually. So, yeah, that's also kind of an indication of how long my nether road really is. Now, uh, in the first episode I had, I did talk about that I was still doubting whether I should use um, stone bricks or cobble and I tested it in creative and decided to go for stone bricks which is a pain really because they're so much more annoying to get than cobble until 1.3 comes out then smelting stone will give you experience and getting stone bricks will be a real feast so yeah, my uh, farming area, because I'm not only just going to you know, farm wheat, I want sugar, and I want melons, I want pumpkins, and 1.3 I want nether wart. So, I'm, oh dang it, not again, just a sec. Alright, I'm back. Today my internet, it, it just hates me. I suppose that's, just, that's all to it, it just hates me. So as I... Where... what? Oh yeah. I forgot to do that pillar. Odd. Uh, nearly out of wood. Wow, I can't count. And there we go. So my farming area is going to be over there and yeah let's see no somehow placing stairs is something that just goes wrong every time I don't know why because it's really really not that hard uh, this I don't like let's see there we go yeah I'll just fill this up with cobble for now and remove you there we go <laughs> As I already said, I believe I already said it, I was going to make a little hub there. So you have the main hub, which will be enormous, and uh, smaller hubs that are themed, meaning you have a farming hub, which I'm going to construct now. And what was I planning again? Um, yeah. It's all on my head. Really. Something like this, I suppose. Hmm. I'll have to do for now anyway. So there's going to be water in this entire circle when it's done and I'm thinking about uh, lowering it one more but that's all for a later date and these stairs are here because well the majority of this is going to be half slabs so I want this to connect and if for some ambiguous reason it will not be then I will replace those it's not really a problem so right temporary torching
Yes, I am still using RM pickaxes because I haven't done a lot of caving actually. Um, I had this planned. So, yeah. Well, one, two. Uh, yeah, one more. Because, yeah, the walls may become rather thick. So what I'm using right now is actually a pen tablet to mine stuff out because it's yeah, it's more economical ergonomical so less strain on the wrists and stuff like that and it's rather relaxed thank you so yeah I'll just I'll mine out this and I'll get back to you So yeah, I dug that out, but what I forgot was I wanted to do oh, okay, do this. This will allow the pillars to stand out just a bit more from this massive room. Need to farm. Uh, well, I just think it looks fancy. Probably not the most interesting thing to look at right now, but yeah, I'll have to do this uh, right now <laughs> because if I don't, I'll forget, like I already forgot. And I might not have enough stairs. No, no, it should be right. Yeah. Nope, I do not want to open that chest. There we go. If you're wondering, why is that chest up in the air? Um. well, we'll just say it's a little error. So. Uh, I filled this up temporarily because, you know, I'm a clunt. I keep falling down them. Uh, we'll eventually have a arch here. And small arches there. You know, all just small and minor. So yeah, I dug out this mini hub. The farming uh, hub. Of course, wooden pillars. I like them. It unifies the style. I tried to make them 2x2 two two like those, but it would just make this room feel so cramped up and claustrophobic, so no. So what I'm going to do now is the farm, the actual weed farm. Um, yeah, it's going to be right across the exit because it is going to be the most important farm, likely. Still getting used to using my tablet for this. Uh, thinking about the walls here because yeah, that does kind of define how far I'm going to have to dig in that direction before actually making the room. Um, you know what, I think I'll keep the wall in here really simple. Or I'll just make a, a corridor this way. Yeah, I'll probably just do that. Yeah. 
tablet works really well, except when you're trying to play stuff. So yeah, I'm just going to make a little corridor. About my wheat farm. I'm going to incorporate pistons in it. It's actually a design I uh, made myself. Well, somewhat. I designed it uh, together with someone, my brother to be exact. So, yeah, if somebody else has already used it, that, this design, well, that, that will be... Uh, Sad, but oh well. Let's see. Uh, we got you here, and tablet not working. So the room will be in here. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna dig out a, a bit and come back to you then. All right. So I dug out this room. There will be chests here and chests there, containing the seed and maybe the wheat. And I am starting with this and showing you how I do it. There's going to be one just like this on the opposite side. Now this room here is actually redundant, but I'm going to keep it to keep the wiring easy. So the trick about this special particular farm. It has a lot of advantages and disadvantages actually. The main disadvantage is it's really uh, material consuming to build, especially redstone. So if you don't have a lot of redstone this is not the best design for you. If you do then well all is fair. I just like this design too much not to use it even if I don't have that much redstone. Right, the trick about this thing is the area on which it grows, so the dirt, is a 6x8 block platform thing. It's 8 in that direction and 6 in this direction. You could make it 7 in that direction I believe, although I'm not sure. But no, I'm too much for symmetry and round numbers, so I'm keeping this at a six. This floor is only going to be going to be too high because one of the advantages of this design is both its uh, modularness shape. It's very modular; you can just keep on adding it, and it's a very vertical design. By that I mean. We have here two platforms and this will be replaced with dirt to create a second layer and you can just keep on going as high as you want actually. So yeah, that's why I like it. Uh, let's see here. Back here will be the water flow. Um, yeah, we'll actually just watch and see and you'll probably get it. Think for a second. Uh, you need blocks here, and yeah. Oh, dang it! I forgot iron. And another slime. Just sort off. Oh. Uh, you know what? I'm not even gonna bother because. I have 47 slimes on me, slime pools, and still three stacks there, so not really gonna run out anytime soon. You could do this uh, farm thing a bit differently uh, and stick the skip the sticky pistons and use regular. It would just look a lot less nice in my opinion, so I'm going to use sticky pistons. 
because yeah I've got plenty so oh dang it no wood uh, oh, that should be enough Uh, oh, I might actually not have enough cobble. Uh, no, no problem, no problem. So, eight pistons. And now eight sticky pistons. Well, not very exciting there. And uh, these will be placed over here. There we go. In there, and there will be a row of blocks here. So those will be lowered and raised by the sticky pistons. And let's see. Actually, just to make it more pretty. There we go. Um, just checking in my head if I'm not making any mistakes because that's not very rare. Um, that should be good. Made a water source here. In 1.3 you can put upside down stairs here and still tap the water. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Uh -oh. Could we just block that up. There we go. Right. So when these pistons are turned on, they will stick to those, and when they're turned off, the water will flow in this direction. Actually, it may just be annoying and run off here. Uh, yeah, well, I'm gonna make a edge someday. Because if I do that now, I can't get up anymore. That will make me sad. And just cover this with blocks. Yeah. Yes, it's still correct. <laughs> Man. There we go. And the next layer of sticky pistons will be here. So those will be visible, which of course can quite easily be counted with upside down stairs. Like so. Uh, torch there for now, you never know. And I ran out of torches. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, gonna fix up the wiring and show that to you in a sec. So, I finished redstone work and it's working perfectly. Got a lever here. Right now it's in the on position, meaning our redstone is powered and I will show you the redstone in a second. If I like this it's off very naturally. 
and we have flowing water. Put it on. The water stops flowing. So what it does is it lowers these blocks through sticky pistons behind which are the water sources which will flow into this canal and this canal just stops here because water flows for eight blocks and this is eight deep if you want to make it any less deep you must somehow stop the water flow here because what will happen is we take a hoe and a hose on ground and plant that and as soon as the water starts flowing that will be destroyed right now it didn't drop anything because it was still tiny but if it's all big and fully grown it will drop its wheat and its seeds because it's being replaced by a water block and those items will be carried with the stream into this canal and drop down there so you just stand here pull the lever and wait for the harvest and pull the lever again as you can see this is irrigated these blocks are can just be it can be irrigated with a water flow nearby these blocks here are also irrigated not by that stream but actually by the water stream behind and I did have to wall this off because when I tested it for the first time and the water started flowing it started flowing down here destroying my torches and my <laughs> redstone here which was a real pain so, the redstone work. This is the block the lever is placed on, and it will power this wire, which will run here, and when it's almost out of juice, I have a repeater powering this block, which in turn powers this wire, uh, that way, and this wire will also be used for the same thing, but higher. And as you can see here, this is the reason this setup is really expensive. A lot of repeaters. Eight to be precise, one for every single piston. The current goes here, flows into the repeater, which powers this block, which powers the piston. It's rather simple really, but just a lot of work. So that's how my farm works. I'll finish the other half to show you a full functioning farm. So, here we are. This is the entrance. I've put a chest here with uh, usual stuff. And up here is the actual farm. I'm going to change this later, but not yet. So as you can see, I've put on some lighting. And they are growing just splendidly. So, you pull that lever it will fall on that stream so I'm leaving it like this for now uh, I will finish it later it's functioning now so yeah I will add more layers at least a second on top and of course make this a lot more pretty as well as replace this lever with a button with a timer on it so it will keep the flow going until everything is in there and then stop automatically at least I'm planning on doing that I'm not entirely sure if I will and of course this place really needs to get uh, more pretty but I have a functioning wheat farm now and that was really important actually so, thank you all for watching and I will hope to see you again uh, next time.